Hi, welcome to the channel, Budget Audio Review and Upgrades, and this is the last in my uh, collection of DVD stroke CD players, you know, purely on the sound output, we're not using the video sound of, uh, well we can't do on the uh, uh, CD players, but on the DVD players, we're not taking uh, any notice of that, we're just using them as a CD player. This is a Pioneer uh, 626D DVD player, uh, like I said, we're just going to listen to the actual, well, I'm going to listen to the uh, actual sound of it and give you my opinion of how it actually sounded, should you like get this as maybe your D, uh, CD player, and obviously you can play DVDs on it as well if you wanted to, if you want to connect it up to the TV, but uh, like I say, primarily for CDs, last one sold on eBay, I say last one, last time I looked, sold for £2.20, so quite expensive there. Uh, the postage was £10, I think, so that's obviously knocked you up. If you're living local to that bloke selling it, £2.20, well, it's a bit of an embarrassment giving me that to go and pick it up, really, because, uh, you know, it's not a bad player. Uh, so it just shows you how cheap these units go for. Typically, this is about £20, maybe £20, £30, something like that, as, as most of my players are. They you know, typically go probably for £120 if you sit there patiently and do a little bit up, put your maximum bid in, all that kind of thing. And, uh, you know, the price of CDs, I do follow a few other channels on here, and uh, some bloke, I think it's pretty common there, has picked up, a, it was a big bundle, but he picked up a bundle of CDs, stroke DVDs, for two and a half pence each. So, you know, it's just ridiculous, like, you know what I mean? But, um, I mean, if you go in charity shops and places like that, you, you, you see, often I see four DVDs for a pound, four CDs for a pound. So if you're paying a pound each for them, you're overpaying at the moment, which is ridiculous, really, considering these would have been 10, 12 pound each at the time. Most of these, are, you know, especially DVDs, only been played once or twice. And you know, as long as they've kept the CD in good condition, you're getting quite a bargain there. I mean, how low can they go? They can't go any lower. I mean, one charity shop was 10 for a pound CDs. It's just ridiculous. I mean, obviously take up space and all that, but um, if you're collecting CDs or DVDs, come to that at the moment, it's, it's no better time to buy them, really. Like, you know what I mean? They can't get any lower, surely. Especially when people are picking up bundles for two and a half pence each. I don't mean he actually bought, there's quite a few hundred there he bought, but for two and a half pence each, local pickup he went as well, a uh, bit up on his charity shops, getting a clear out, a few scratch ones and that in there, but you just sling them aside, I mean, it's just silly money really. So this is the time to buy them, you know, really, if you're going to go and get your collection, build it up now, before they start creeping up, because a lot of these are getting slung away on tips and all that, and eventually, obviously millions and millions and millions were made, especially the CDs and that, but over time, these are going to fizzle out like anything else. It's got to come back around. These start being collectible again, surely. You know, can't see why not. And that's why maybe you're looking for a, a CD uh, player or a DVD player that will play the CDs. Right, this is the Pioneer, like I say, the 626D. Uh, so it's done with normal stuff. Let's have a little look at it at the front. There's the front of the unit. And we have a little look at the back. And as you can see, it's got an host of sockets at the back here. But we're just concentrating on the audio out here. It's got a digital out and a coax out. I think it's just double check as it happens. Uh, yes it has, we're not going to use that, no DAX, anything like that, just want to see what you can get for bare bones money here, what's it going to sound like, so we a little look inside, I uh, don't know enough about the mechanism, anything like that on these players, uh, what uh, digital analog converters are inside, I've got no idea, not that interested, like I say, we're just listening in for the sound really, uh, and this has got quite a bit going on inside, and it's got a few ICs also underneath that board, because I did a little repair on this where uh, I got this when it come through broken, a little cracked circuit board, if anyone's interested, I'll stick a link to that video up the top there now. Um, so yeah, there's a look inside, and now we come around to the front here. Uh, what we're going to do with normal stuff here, we're going to open it up, we're going to put two CDs in to see how slow etc it is. Quite a slow draw mechanism. It's got a, an insert here for an eight centimeter CD, and you've only got to give this a little tap. This one is a bit sensitive. It'll go back in. So I'm going to hold it out here while I touch it. I was going to try and hold it out. It's very, very sensitive. This one. I should do an adjustment, but uh, I can't be bothered really because I'm not going to use it again. Uh, yeah, it's got the uh, tray in there for an eight centimeter CD as well. Just a basic kind of draw, but it's okay. Nothing wrong with it there. So anyway, we'll plonk our uh, CD in there and we'll shut it. And here we go. A little bit on the slow side, you would say, reading the CD. It just comes up with CD, no track information or anything like that. So we'll play on. And now we're off and running. So yeah, if we just go, uh, as I normally do, skip a track. Oh, I meant to say next. I'll do that next time. Right, here we go. Next. And next. It's fairly fast at doing that, just a little bit laborious and the loading it in and reading the disc. So if we take that one out. And we pop our other one in. 
which is a CDR. Now I'm all certain I burnt this at 16 speed. I'm not too sure if it's 8 or 16, but I'm sure it was 16, this uh, CDR. I know the uh, Panasonic had a little bit of a problem reading it, but there you go. It's really okay there, so if we just play this, And we'll skip the track uh, next. And next. There you go. So that uh, gives an indication there of how fast or slow this is. Just bear in mind once more, I know I've repeated it before in other videos, just in case you just come to this particular video, is make sure when you're actually like uh, listening to CDs on here, you haven't got the surround, the virtual surround, the 5.1 switched on by mistake. The buttons here on the front, do do them, do do that, and you can turn it off with these buttons at the front. Could use the remote, I haven't got the remote for this, so just bear that in mind if you've got a DVD player, you may have to connect it up to the TV first of all, because the last person who had it, and if you haven't got the remote or whatever, I may have left it in a surround sound kind of setup or 5.1 setup. You want to go back to the two channels for your CDs, no surround or no bass woofer and all that kind of extra stuff. All different players have got different menus or different things you can turn on and off, etc. Virtual, all that kind of stuff. Make sure it's all turned off. To get you know a direct output of the CD, you may want to tinker around with them later. Uh, you know to build up kind of like a, a setting or environment you like. You may get some enjoyment out of that by all means. But you know I'm doing a comparison here with all them settings turned off. So okay, let's have a listen to how it sounds. Right, it's actually me. It's going to listen to how it sounds. Sorry if I give you the wrong impression. But at some stage I might actually do a little video of these um, or soundtrack or something of me recording the same track, comparing them with each player. Hopefully you may be able to pick it up with uh, the recording equipment i got and obviously YouTube's uh, compression, etc. It may just hold that back a bit. May, may give you some kind of idea, I don't know. Maybe worth a try, and it cost me nothing to put the video up. Right, if we start with the top end, the top end was quite nice. It was quite detailed. It wasn't as detailed as the Sony, but it was quite nice, it was quite detailed. It was enjoyable, the top end. Um, the vocals here I found was a little bit smoothed, smoothed off here, a little bit smoothed off and a little bit unfocused the vocals. In, in fact, the old player was a little bit unfocused to be honest with you. Um, like I say, that top end weren't bad, that was quite detailed in that, but the, the rest of it just seemed a bit unfocused this player. It's hard to kind of explain really. Um, it was like, you know, when you're picking out each individual instrument and you can kind of feel a space around them, it wasn't that kind of feeling with this. You, you, could, you knew the instruments were there and where they were, but they were just like claustrophobic a bit, you know what I mean? There was no kind of space in between, no resolution. It was just a bit unfocused. It was like taking a picture and just unfocusing it a little bit. And this is what it did with the, with the sound, like I say, really. The top end weren't too bad. You know, that was quite, quite focused and that, quite detailed. But the rest of it, 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 it wasn't the case, you know what I mean? I just felt it like it was a bit hard to explain, really. It just, like I say, it just felt that... It's just like an high resolution picture, you've just unfocused a bit. Rather than sharpening it up, you've unfocused it and kind of blended one into the other. Just a tad, but that tad was enough for this to finish in third place amongst all the DVD players. And, you know, it wasn't an exciting sound. It was okay, you know what I mean? It was an okay sound. Like I say, this goes, it went for £2.20, the last one sold. Obviously a bit underpriced, but, you know, if you're paying £10 for this or something in a charity shop or something like that, that's going to be fine, like, you know what I mean? It's going to, you know, it's going to play your CDs for you and that if you're not overcritical. It's okay. The bass was a bit muddy, you know what I mean? Not that well defined. It was okay. I mean, I'm nitpicking here, really. It was okay. Just a little bit undefined. Um, a little bit on the muddy side. Um, the sax, the trumpet and the piano, just they just felt a little bit confined, you know what I mean? Just a little bit held back kind of thing. Need a little bit more clarity, a little bit more definition, a little bit more focus on them. They just seem to be held back a little bit there, just you know, a bit, a bit uh, constrained is the word I put down here. Uh, the vocals, like I say, they're nice, but they're just a little bit smoothed off. But they are nice, you know. I mean, it was okay. Um, all in all, this was an okay player. Just lack that focus, that you know, just lack that clarity. Really, that it's just smoothed off a bit too much. It's like let's put a smoothing filter on it and just smoothed it off a little bit too much in places. So, you know. It's okay, if you're thinking about getting this, don't pay too much for it. You're gonna be happy enough with it, I think, but if you're paying 20 or 30 pounds, something like that, Sony is a much, much better player than this. You know, if you're using this for DVDs and that, etc., then you obviously you've got a DVD. I, you know, I, don't, I didn't test the DVD out, but apparently that Sony is quite a good unit for the DVD side of it as well. And this probably is gonna be okay as well, don't get me wrong. But, you know, if you're gonna have a choice between this Pioneer 
and that Sony say that Sony DVD player I did a review on. Well, then the Sony wins it hands down, like you would be. Uh, and so does the denim. The denim beats this as well. So you know, just bear that in mind. But if you must get this player, this is the one you're looking for, and you, you know you want to get it. I won't put you off of it. Uh, but there is better to be had, I think, for this kind of price bracket, this kind of price range. Obviously, some people say you put a digital analog convert, all that kind of stuff on the back of it. That's going to cost you more money if you want to go down that route. But like I said, this channel is all about the rock bottom price, not adding any extra to try and beef it up because we could probably do that quite a lot of the items on the reviewing on here as well. Um, but for £10, it's okay, you know what I mean? But don't overpay for it. Um, I won't be listening to it again, that's for certain, you know what I mean? Out of all this review I've done here, there's only three players that I'd probably say, you know, I'd, I'd keep or I'd listen to again. And the Sony's definitely one of them. The Denim was a good player in the DVD department and the better CD player out of the three was the Panasonic as well. So they would be the three, if I'd pick three, you know, that I'd say and cut the other three out. You know, if I split the group in half, they'd be the three I'd keep and the others I'd definitely get rid of. And um, that's what I'm going to do with this. I've ended this. I'm probably going to give this to the charity shoppers really because I don't really want this to go through the post again and chat about. It may, I mean, that board's been pretty well put back together, I think, but uh, where these postmen throw stuff about, you never know. So uh, I'll probably say this down to the charity shop and hopefully I'm, someone will get a bit of enjoyment out of it. And in there, I know they're not going to overcharge. They're going to charge someone probably eight pounds, something like that. That's what they seem to sell in this shop. Items, this kind of stuff for eight quid. So for eight pounds, someone's going to get a nice little DVD player and a CD player to go with it. You know, it's going to be fine for most people. Okay, I've rattled on enough again as normal. Hopefully you kind of got some kind of a, uh, indication of how I thought each individual player compared with the other one and uh, which ones I thought were the good ones compared ones that weren't so good but none of them were really bad because don't forget you're paying next to nothing a, a pint or two down the pub you're paying for these these uh, CD players stroke DVD players that's pretty much nothing and, and they're going to last for a long time really and give you a lot of enjoyment like you know what I mean so when you kind of compare it like that you'll get so much value out of these it's untrue and, and the media so cheap as well. You're just on a win-win uh, basis here with these. You know, you can't lose really. Okay, until the next video, I'll say thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon.